We've come down to Angeltown in Brixton as part of the Evening Standard campaign to transform the estate. It's been incredible because Anne-Marie Powell's supported us, Hortus Loci's been here, they've given us thousands of pounds worth of plants. We've had horticultural experts mixing with kids and young people and some of the older residents planting up the outside of the park and it's been fantastic. It's been a really exciting start to the RHS Green and Grey Britain campaign and that's been facilitated by the Evening Standard. They're funding the relocation of our Chelsea Flower Show garden to Angeltown and it's just a wonderful symbiosis because everybody's wanting to help. Working with the RHS and the Chelsea Flower Show is literally a dream. Bringing that kind of level of horticulture to the inner city to create an activity that doesn't cost the community anything and gives them general well-being is really important and it's an extreme benefit to the collective, the community. The great thing about what's happened today is not only aesthetically is it going to pick the estate up but something as simple as different families mucking in together and helping each other work with the plants and physically put them in the ground can hopefully be the start of bringing this community a little bit tighter. We're gardening and we're bringing in a lot of the kids involved and it's really good because I know more people in my community because of this. They know me and it's a positive thing. I can't believe how many people have joined in today and the children, they're just getting their hands in the dirt and they're enjoying it. So that's why I think this is going to be such a success. Having a community garden is a great way to bring a community together, let people reconnect with each other, with the soil. If people can live in an environment that's got a little bit more colour, how can that be anything but a good thing?